So I'm going to talk to you guys about painting fascia faster and better. Um, one of the problems, you know, I just explained in another video. I'm cutting in an interior. Um, I don't normally have a weenie roller in my bucket or some gym roller in my bucket. Because it's it's much faster for me to run around um, without that roller. It, it, it doesn't do you any good inside. But when you're doing fascia, it's a completely different story. Um, and... The technique for doing it, a lot of guys do this the wrong way. Even the guys who work for me who are all listening to these videos, I know you guys listen to this. I've seen you guys do this, and you do it backwards. So listen carefully. When you're doing fascia board, here's the way to do it, and be fast and get the most coverage. I can cover a lot of times white over like a brown or whatever in one coat. So listen carefully. This is very important. The direction you do it you load your roller up you go ahead first thing is you go ahead and do a coat on the fascia and the under edge okay and you're just gonna stay away from it it's go, go as far as you can over and release some paint on there just get a coat on there first okay while that's setting up then you go ahead dip your brush tap it and you cut in under the under edge okay so you get your under edge all cut in all right now all that time this has been setting up a little bit this is getting a little bit sticky maybe by then hopefully if it's warm enough where you are this is starting to set up enough it's just starting to go off a little tiny bit so then what you do is you load up your brush again after you you slim jim roll first. That's the first thing you do is slim jim roll. Don't don't you slim that slim jim, you're done with it right now. Then what you do is you go ahead and run a coat on here, dip a few times, get your paint on here, dip, put more paint on, dip, put more paint on. Don't don't run your brush too dry. This is where the guys go wrong. Now you got a lot of paint on there. Then the last time you just run your brush really lightly this way, you go back and forth. That section of fascia is completely done. That will get you the most coverage um, with one step. Where the guys are going wrong, and I'm going to explain it to you the wrong way now. That's the right way to do it. Here's the wrong way. Go up there. They cut in this part first. Okay. Cut in everything, and then roll it. Because that roller will pull more paint off than this brush will if you're pushing if you're not pushing on the brush if you're releasing it by just doing the light tip technique that i've been showing you in the other videos and you're releasing it on there very very lightly you're going to take the brush the paint off the brush and release it to the fascia okay but if you're doing the rolling last okay and you're not you're not doing it first the way i just showed you First thing you do, dip your roller, put your paint on. Second thing, cut in the top. By then, it's pretty much setting up a little bit on the lower part. Then you dip your brush after and you put it on. What guys are doing is they're dipping their brush and doing the cut in first and then just rolling and saying, hey, well, it doesn't cover. I'm not going to put two coats. It's like, no. If you do it the way I'm showing you, you're going to get it to cover in one coat. Almost every time, almost every fascia board. I don't care if it's rough sawn wood, it'll cover. In fact, you know, and if it's enamel, it's going to be a little bit tr trickier to do, but it'll still cover better. So when you're doing your fascia, do it the way I'm showing you. And if you're really, really, really slow and your paint starts to dry on you before you get to the part where you're doing the brush, then you need to get faster. Okay. You just got to get faster. You got to get yourself to move a little better because you're just going way too slow or... A lot of times what I've seen a lot of guys do is um, they, they the, the, the biggest problem, and I'll have to go over rolling stuff, is guys, you know, that push on their roller too hard. That's the biggest mistake most guys use. You push on your roller. You do not push on your roller. You you release with your roller. You load up your roller, and then you push. The, the roller releases the paint to the wall. You don't have to push on the roller at all. If you're pushing, watch this. If you're pushing on that roller and you're trying to get it to release at, with any weight, 
I don't care if it's just a little tiny bit. The lighter you you roll, the better the coverage. Guys need think they have to push in the roller to get into the cracks. No, you need to load the, load, the ro load the roller up heavier so that more paint will release from the roller and just flow down into those cracks. So it's, it's all about, the, the problem is most guys make the mistakes or they do this backwards. They push on rollers. Rollers are not to be pushed on at all. It's all about releasing. Okay. All right. So I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Um, we'll do one on rolling technique and loading your roller the proper way and releasing the paint to the wall because that's what you're supposed to do with that. A lot of guys, they, this is a, they make that mistake. That's the biggest, most common mistake. And I'll have to do that while I'm painting something, so um, we're gonna have to wait on that video, but keep an eye out. I'll be showing you guys how to roll and get better coverage and more uh, per dip. Talk to you in the next video.